In the bustling streets of Edo period Japan, a visionary artist emerged, reshaping the course of art history. Katsushika Hokusai, a name that resonates through time, forever changed the landscape of ukiyo-e, a traditional art form focused on depicting the fleeting beauty of life. Katsushika Hokusai was born in 1760, in Edo period, at the capital of the Tokugawa shogunate. Now simply known as Hokusai, his journey led him from humble beginnings to becoming a pioneer in the realm of painting and printmaking. His childhood name was Tokitaro, and he came from a Japanese artisan family. His father, possibly a mirror maker for the shogun, influenced his early artistic pursuits. At the age of 12, he worked in a bookshop and lending library where he was introduced to woodcut block books, a popular entertainment of the time. At 14, he became an apprentice woodcarver and later joined the studio of Katsukawa Shunsho, an ukiyo-e artist known for portraits of courtesans and kabuki actors. During an era of shifting perspectives, Hokusai's artistic evolution mirrored the changing world around him. Under the name Shunro, Hokusai published his first prints depicting kabuki actors. However, after the death of Shunsho in 1793, Hokusai explored various artistic styles, including European influences. Originally renowned for his portraiture of courtesans and actors, Hokusai shifted his focus from courtesans and actors to landscapes and daily life scenes of Japanese people. Hokusai's curiosity knew no bounds. He ventured beyond conventions, unearthing a world of landscapes, plants, and animals previously unexplored in ukiyo-e. His intricate brushwork breathed life into nature's finest details, captivating hearts across Japan. By 1800, Hokusai continued to develop his ukiyo-e style beyond portraiture. He adopted the name, Katsushika Hokusai, referencing his birthplace and the North Star. He published collections of landscapes, like, Fine Views of the Eastern Capital at a Glance, Toto Maisho Ichiran, and Eight Views of Edo. Through such works, he gained students and recognition for his artwork and self-promotion. Hokusai's talent was showcased during the Edo Festival in 1804, where he created a massive portrait using ink and buckets. He won a competition with a creative technique involving a chicken dipped in paint. Collaborating with novelist Takazawa Bakin from 1804 to 1815, he illustrated books like Chinsetsu Yumi Harazuki, gaining fame for his powerful imagery. He also ventured into erotic art, shunga, and closely supervised his work's production. In response to Japan's newfound travel frenzy, Hokusai embarked on a monumental journey of his own creation. The 36 Views of Mount Fuji series, a breathtaking homage to the iconic peak, catapulted him to international fame. This series included iconic works like The Great Wave off Kanagawa and Red Fuji. Notably, Hokusai applied his perspectival studies from manga to The Great Wave, using a Western-style perspective to convey depth and volume. The Great Wave off Kanagawa stands tall, an emblem of Hokusai's brilliance. Its towering waves and indomitable spirit captured the imagination of a world yearning for new horizons. The success of The Great Wave led to the addition of 10 more prints to the series. During this period, Hokusai also produced other popular print series, such as A Tour of the Waterfalls of the Provinces, Oceans of Wisdom, and Unusual Views of Celebrated Bridges in the Provinces. He delved into creating intricate images of flowers and birds, known as Kacho-e, showcasing his meticulous detailing in pieces like poppies and flock of chickens. This period was marked by Hokusai's widespread recognition and innovative approach to perspective and subject matter, solidifying his reputation as a master artist in Japan's cultural landscape. Hokusai's artistic influences were diverse and encompassed both Japanese and Chinese traditions. He drew inspiration from artists like Seshu Toyo and various styles of Chinese painting, which contributed to his unique artistic approach. His influence extended globally, reaching the Western art scene of 19th century Europe through the phenomenon of Japonism. This movement began with a fervor for collecting Japanese art, particularly ukiyo-e prints. Across distant shores, Hokusai's influence transcended borders. 
A wave of japonismy swept through Europe, igniting the artistic spirits of luminaries like Vincent van Gogh and Claude Monet. In Paris around 1856, the French printmaker and designer Félix Brackman, a colleague of prominent Impressionist artists like Édouard Manet, encountered a Hokusai sketchbook at the workshop of Auguste Damata. This encounter marked the introduction of Hokusai's work to Western contemporaries and played a pivotal role in the spread of Japonism, which had a lasting impact on European art and culture. Hokusai's impact on art and culture was significant and far-reaching. He achieved remarkable accomplishments across various artistic domains, including book illustrations, woodblock prints, sketches, and paintings. Spanning over seven decades, each stroke a testament to his unwavering dedication. Notably, Hokusai was an early pioneer of Western linear perspective within the realm of Japanese art. His experimentation with this perspective set him apart among Japanese artists. From a young prodigy to a seasoned maestro, Hokusai's journey was one of ceaseless devotion. His creations numbered over 30,000, each a chapter in his extraordinary saga. A pioneer of composition, a virtuoso of technique, Hokusai remains a beacon in the annals of art history. His name echoes through time, a reminder that true innovation knows no bounds. Katsushika Hokusai, a master who painted the world anew, a legacy forever imprinted on the canvas of human imagination. And as the winds of time continue to blow, his artistry endures, an eternal testament to the boundless power of creativity.